I want to take you through how we run our zone play, uh, commonly referred to as the inside zone run. And, and, and this is what we run in our five wide attack offense. Um, the first thing we do when we train this play is we always put the ball on the hash mark. We want that running back and we want this play to go right down the midline. So when we work on this run and play, we put the ball in the hash, and the running back knows that as he, when he shuffles over to take the ball, that he should head straight down the hash mark. So we want that we're going to run the play right up the midline of the defense. We'd like to take advantage of the angles that the, our linemen have in blocking. So everybody's in block with the same technique or block the same way. For example, one of the reasons we run down the midline is that when people play a three technique and a five technique, that gives us a real good angle for our guard and our offensive tackle to be able to drive block and get their head on the inside armpit breastplate of that three technique and get and step right in the crotch and get his head on the inside armpit breastplate of that five technique and be able to drive block them. So these two guys with a five technique and the three technique they'll execute a drive block, put their head on the inside armpit breastplate and make sure that that guy does not cross their face to go back to the inside to make a play on the ball. He can go outside or go around them and in which case they'll just stay locked on and, and wall them up the field or ride them up the field but they cannot allow them to go back underneath because we know that that ball's coming down the midline. Okay. Our center will do true zone steps, meaning he'll step with his right foot to get square up to that linebacker, and then he will run and cover that linebacker's body. His aiming point is, is to take his face mask, put it right in the middle of his, that linebacker's numbers. Now, if the linebacker starts to work for whatever reason to the right, then he'll aim at the inside armpit breastplate of that same linebacker and he'll wall him to the right because he knows the ball's coming up the midline. If for some reason that linebacker started working to his left then he'll aim at the right inside armpit breastplate and he'll wall him to his left. So he can't be wrong as long as he attacks the same linebacker start with his aiming point with his face mask and the numbers and then react according to what that Sam linebacker does. The mistake that's commonly made is, is that center doesn't go attack the Sam linebacker. He can't hesitate, he needs to run at him and, and what I refer to as play chicken. Sprint right at him and make him make the first move. He has what we call a zone block because he's taking true zone steps. He takes the zone step and checks for the three technique to make sure that that three technique is not on some type of slant. Once he sees that's not happening, then he'll climb to the next level and block the same linebacker. If the, the three technique was slanting inside, then our guard would know that that probably means the same linebacker is coming over the top, so he would just engage him, look for the same linebacker, and, into, and come off on the same linebacker. On the back side of this play, our left guard, or the back side guard, he's going to do a true scoop technique. Since he knows that that ball is going to go down the midline, he's going to step and get his head on the inside armpit breastplate of that one technique, and then work his hips into the hole. We like him to get movement down the field as he does that, but his number one consideration is that he wants to get his body between the one technique and the midline because he knows the ball's coming down there. If for, for whatever reason, maybe this one te technique is slanting or he's real aggressive, but he starts attacking that A gap real hard and he sees the center leave and he wants to get in that hole, then our left guard will change this from a scoop technique and he'll just lock on 
and he'll just run the one technique by the play or wash him down as much as he can. The running back will see that and then he'll just bounce the play out accordingly. The backside tackle has what we call a wall technique. And that simply means that he's going to zone step in the B gap to make sure and check for that five technique. If the five technique comes down tight on him and wants to squeeze that hole, then he would block, turn and block the five technique. So that's this first rule in the wall technique. If the five technique is playing the C gap and he comes up the field when he steps down, then he's going to immediately climb to the Mike linebacker. In the wall technique, we'd like him to put his face mask on the inside armpit breastplate and once again put his body between the Mike linebacker and the midline, which is where the ball is going to be run down. However, the flexibility is the same as the guard in that if the Mike technique starts to attack the midline, he can simply redirect, cover his body, and wash him by the play as much as possible. And the running back will make the appropriate cut. So you can see that this play for the running back can go straight down. We head straight down the midline, and then he can react to the one technique, and he may even take this all the way back. All right? We want to get movement on these people, on these backside people, because that creates the vertical separation that we'd like to see between the five technique who's coming up the field and the line of scrimmage people. So if we can move these people off the ball, and that's why we're doing drive blocks, and we can get this, create this vertical separation, that gives a nice area for the running back to be able to run into the line of scrimmage and then cut on the other side, on the defensive side of the line of scrimmage. So we're working real hard and we, we like to tell the running back that you don't, this, you don't want to make a break until you're two or three yards into the line of scrimmage. Otherwise you just head downhill and stay on that midline. And that's how we run our zone play in the five wide attack spread offense.